at the ears themselves. Okay, they seem like... Hearing loss can occur slowly, and the earlier symptoms are easily missed. As you perform your objective assessment of the ears, observe your patient for clues that he may have hearing impairment without realizing it, or is attempting to hide, perhaps due to embarrassment or fear of job loss. A number of behaviors may indicate hearing impairment. These include asking you to repeat your questions, repeatedly misunderstanding your questions, watching your face closely as though lip-reading, frowning or leaning forward while listening, turning one ear toward you, garbled-sounding speech or a flat speech pattern lacking in inflection, or speaking in an inappropriately loud voice. Begin your objective assessment by visually inspecting the outer ear. It should be pink in color, the skin smooth and free of crusts or lesions, and the opening clear of exudate, although a small amount of cerumen, meaning earwax, may be visible. Some individuals produce larger amounts of cerumen, which may be fairly liquid or rather dry. Cerumen, particularly the dry variety, can build up in the ear canal to the point of hearing impairment. The presence of a Darwin's tubercle, a small painless nodule on the edge of the ear, is a normal variation. Note the size of the ear. The normal adult ear is between 4 and 10 centimeters in length with a smooth outer curve. It sits upright and sits relatively flat against the head with the upper edge of the pinna at approximately eye level. While unusual shape, size, or position may indicate pathology, these may also be normal variations and run in families. Palpate the outer ear, noting any tenderness. Apply mild pressure to the tragus. There should be no pain from these maneuvers. Note the presence of any swelling above, behind, or beneath the ears. Examination of lymph nodes is covered in the program on the lymph system. Use of the otoscope is best learned working with someone skilled in the process. However, a few simple guidelines are reviewed here. Observe the size of the outer meatus and select an appropriately sized speculum. Grasp the pinna of the ear to be examined. Pull upward gently and insert the tip of the speculum into the ear canal. Hold the otoscope with the handle upward, positioned so the side of your hand is firmly against the side of the head, giving you good control over the instrument. You should now be able to visualize the ear canal and tympanic membrane. A normal tympanic membrane is pearly gray. If it is red or bulging, infection is present. If a large amount of cerumen is visible at the opening, it is likely that the ear canal will be blocked to visualization. Greg, what we're going to do now is what they call the whisper test. It's a hearing test to see if you can hear very soft sounds. Assessment okay. of hearing so begins with your observation of the patient during the subjective assessment, but now we will demonstrate a specific test called the whispered test. Have the patient cover one ear with his hand, Move next to the patient so you are about a foot away from his uncovered ear and position so he cannot see your lips. Now whisper a series of numbers and have him repeat them. Test the other ear in the same manner. One, two, three, seven, five, six. Very good. Okay. Now you want to cover the other ear for me? Sure. Okay, perfect. Okay, again, I'm going to pick different numbers this time. Two, three, seven, four, four, four. Two, three, seven, four, four, four. Okay, perfect.